It's far too easy to become busy for God, serving, singing, teaching, preaching, and all that jazz. And none of these things are wrong. Actually, they're all good. But often, they're misguided attempts to create intimacy with the Lord. Oftentimes, these things we do are artificial attempts at closeness with the Lord. But the psalmist tells us, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. This psalm invites us to experience and encounter the goodness of the Lord in a personal and tangible way. To taste and see or experience for yourself can only be had personally. Psalms 34 is an invitation to go beyond head knowledge and theoretical understanding of God, but instead become intimate with our Creator. Just as we savor the flavors of a delicious meal, we are called to savor and experience the goodness of the Lord for ourselves on a personal level. It requires an act of participation participation on our part, an openness to the Lord's presence, and a willingness to explore the depths of His love and faithfulness in and to our lives. Amen. At some point, we have to stop doing for the Lord so that we can enjoy being with the Lord. That's where intimacy starts. So spend time learning of the Lord through his word and develop a closeness with him through a vibrant prayer life. When we live in an intimate communion with God, we stop striving for sainthood in our own strength and our service offerings and worship until the Lord becomes natural to genuinely glorify God. May God bless and keep you, my friends, in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.